Wow. <sighs> All right, guys. Um, this is gonna be a different kind of video because this video is gonna be basically about um, you know, in the caption it says a Bears fan reaction to the 2022 season, right? Well, it's gonna be different because not only that I'm reacting to it, but I'm gonna try my best because I have good memory. I'm gonna try my absolute best to react to how I actually reacted in real life. That means I might be screaming, anger. I'm gonna just react like how I did when it was live months ago. With that, let's get to the video. The 2022 draft? This is gonna be different because there's really no quarterbacks. Trevor Lawrence, Mac Jones, Justin Fields, Zach Wilson. They are already drafted. And then we still got CJ Stroud, Bryce Young, all them quarterbacks for next year's draft. So I wonder how this draft is gonna go. It's gonna go out. I don't know how this is gonna go out, bro. 2022 season. Oh my God, bro. Ugh. Week one, we got the 49ers. Great. That's just great. We went six and 11, they make it to the championship. Oh my God. That, that that's, this is gonna be bad. George Kittle is not gonna play? Okay. That still doesn't change the fact that they still got Debo Samuel and Brandon Ayuk. And Trey Lance is starting. Okay. I've never seen him play before. Let's see how he does. My God, Soldier Field looks so bad, bro. It's raining like crazy, bro. <sighs> it doesn't matter. Week one. <sighs> this was hoping great. It's September 11th, first game of the season. Playing on the 49ers on a terrible weather condition. Let's just hope that we come out and win this game. Let's just hope we do. Oh, we slid into victory. Let's go, man. Bro, we sucked. I know, I know. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know I say, yeah, the Bears are the worst team in the league. I know we were losing at halftime, but that's just halftime. You know, we came back and did all that. I am so happy. We got the Packers. They y'all suck, bro. Oh my god, y'all lost to the Vikings. Can never get fair. The Packers. All right, they lost to the Vikings. We beat the 49ers. Honestly, we're winning this game. We're going two and zero, bro. No, no, no. You know why? Cause I believe in the Bears. I believe because you know why? Cause we're the Bears. And people think, the Bears, y'all ain't good. Y'all only have one good game. But you look, take a look back at that game. And we're going to play like the second half of that 49ers game. Into this game. And we're going to win this game. And Justin Fields is going to own the Packers. Remember when I said... Justin Fields is going to own the Packers. And that we'll be able to take the second half of the 49ers game. And do this. I can't. What is? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it, bro. Who are we playing next, bro? I'm done. We got a little break. We got the Houston Texans. Honestly, if we don't win this game, I'm already canceling season tickets. For the Bears game. Because we can't lose to the Texans. I mean, right? We can't lose to the Texans. I feel like it's going to be like a 30 to 10 Bears win, right? Easy. Let's go, man. Let's go. Santos, I love you, bro. Roquan, great pick, man. Love you, bro. My one question is, why was this game so close? As I said, it should have been that close last week. I said 30 to 17 or 30 to 10. And I know we won, we won, but it shouldn't have been this close. Fields, I know, I love you and stuff, but get it together, bro. You had a QB rating of 27, bro? Get out of here, bro. Come on, bro. That's not how it's supposed to be. Against the Texans, we got the Giants next. All right, we got the same record. Honestly, <laughs> We're not winning this game. Oh, mm. Giants are kind of washed, so we'll win. Right? 
probably lost. I mean, I went to sleep halfway through the game, bro. Mm. This was a boring game, bro. Unbelievable. I can't believe I've never went to sleep during the Bears game. Ever. That means I'm going to have to go on YouTube and rewatch the game. I mean, should I? We already lost. All I saw was Vela's Jones fumbling the ball. That was it. What happened? What really happened? My week is ruined every time you guys lose. It doesn't matter. You guys... This was the most boring game I've seen y'all play, ever. What happened? Literally, what happened? Justin played bad again. The defense gonna stop Daniel Jones who runs a four, like a six seven on his forty yard dash. No one could tackle Barkley, so Barkley's made out of bricks now. And the offense couldn't get nothing going. What happened? All our points were field goals. What? We got the Vikings. It's okay. Vikings are not good either. They got. They won. All their games were close. Besides the Packers one, but all the wins were close. They're not gonna win this one. We're good. We have good defense. As long as Roquan and Robert Quinn is here and Eddie Jackson, we're good. Let's go into Minnesota and win this game. What a bounce! Go out! And it's stripped away by Dantzler. He takes it down into Bears territory. A huge turnover with a minute to go. We lost again, bro. Oh. What's, what's your name? Number 17 on the Bears. Amir Smith Marset. We need to cut him now. I thought we was, I thought we got a steal when we first signed him. Because I know him from Minnesota. The guy that played for him. I don't know if I was going to get good receivers. Nope. Nope. No, no. Come on, come on, come on. I, I, there's nothing to say. I'm, I, I... <sighs> what is... Can we just beat Washington? It's Thursday night football. The Bears have good history on Thursday night footballs, football games. So let's just hope that we get a win, please. Like I'm desperately hoping we win. Cause I want to go two and four. I want to go three and three. And we're gonna get killed by the Patriots and the Cowboys. But let's just go. It's 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 Thursday night football. It's a new program, Amazon football. Let's go out and win this game. Fourth and goal, Mooney. Catch the ball. That's caught. That's caught. That's in. That's in. That's in. No, he did not. Incomplete. Mooney. For the moment, look like he just had it. Does not. You got Saint Juice covering on the play. Officials going over it. Now I think he called it. Not in. Catch short of the goal line. Short. Guys, I think every time we wear orange jerseys, we lose. Y'all realize that? There's a tendency of the Bears wearing orange and we lose. You go back to every single time we wore orange jerseys. Have we won those games? No. So are the orange ones bad luck? I don't know. I think the orange is bad luck. I think we, what a great way to end the week. We have Thursday night loss, another boring one, but the ending was fun until that. Now we're, now I know we're gonna get killed by the Patriots because there's no way in the world we're beating the Patriots. We're on the road. They have a better record than us. It's Bill Belichick. He's one win away from beating George Hallis. Like we're screwed. We're actually screwed. Like I don't know how we're gonna win this game. You know, I don't even. I don't even know if I want to watch this game. This game's gonna be so bad. But if we win, I'll be happy. 
we're not gonna win this game. Hey! Remember you said the Bears wouldn't beat the Patriots? Huh? Huh? You like that? Huh? I told you we was gonna beat them. I told you. <laughs> Bro, what are you talking <laughs> about? You just said that we'll lose before the game. I never said we was gonna lose. It's the Patriots. No one... How do you lose to the Patriots? That's crazy. You told me. You said we was gonna lose. I knew we was gonna win that game. You saw it. The Bears are just... We're the Bears. You know, we're strong. We're fierce. We're warriors. There was no actual way we lose to the Patriots and we beat them. You know, I'm a Cowboys fan, right? We play the Oh Bears yeah, you're a games. Cowboys fan? Oh, we got y'all next week. Yeah, we gonna, we gonna, we'll beat y'all though. It's Halloween. We're wearing our orange crush jerseys. Y'all wearing y'all little blue. I don't, the only way I see y'all us win, winning this game is if we play defense and have good offense. If we lose, I'm blaming the orange because you know the Bears don't win in orange. <laughs> All right, I'll call you back. All right. I'll see you in Dallas. Please do not call me. Please do not call me. Please do not call me. Before he calls me, I just want to say. Even though we lost by 20, it felt like we lost by 5. <laughs>
we're not going to win any more games this year. It's week 11. And we haven't won a game since week 7. Four weeks of misery. We're 3-8 and eight after being 3-4. and four. We started the season 2-1. and one. And now we're three and eight. I've never seen us start this season so bad. Are you serious, Chicago? We got the Jets next, and the Jets are good this year. Justin Fields is out. Trevor Simeon to start. This this I just hope this game ends better than I think it's gonna be. Darnell Mooney out for the season. Eddie Jackson. Out for the season. Both with foot injuries. We lost 31 to 10. To a team that doesn't even have their starting quarterback. Mike White and Garrett Wilson absolutely killed us. I don't understand what went wrong. Everything went wrong. I remember praying for him. Chase Claypool. Had pretty good touchdowns. Other than that, this has been misery. I don't understand. I don't understand. I swear to God, I don't understand. What was wrong in this game? I could not name one good thing in this game other than the touchdown that Pike Pringle had in a chase Claypool's catch. What was the good thing about this game, Eddie Jackson and Darnell Mooney, two of my favorite players, got out for the season. And this is how it happens? 31-10 to 10 to the Jets? Are you serious? This might be the worst game of the season. Who we got next? We got the... We got, we got the... Um, are you, I'm too mad at this. 3-9, all right. Packers, we can... Hopefully win that one. Then we got the Eagles. After we have, we, it's a bye week and week 14. We got the Eagles, then the Bills, then the Lions and Vikings. This season's gonna end so poorly. The good about this game, Justin Fields played well, as always. Also, the defense played a lot better than I thought. Or maybe Green Bay's offense is just terrible. The bad, Aaron Rodgers still owns us, as he claims. And another bad, we've been eliminated. But the good, we can have a high draft pick. Another good, we can maybe get Jalen Carter. Another good, we don't have to have the pain and suffering no more. And another good, we don't care about the season. And number another good, Justin Fields is our franchise quarterback. Now we're heading into the bye. And I still think, oh, let's just go. I'm, I need this rest. Even though it's a bye week and the Bears don't play, there's a good about this. We don't have to worry about losing. The bad about this, I'm bored. Because I expect the Bears every Sunday. And we're on a bye week. Even though we'll be, we'll be back next week. But who do I watch? There's no one to watch. <sighs> We're going to get killed by the Eagles. Get killed by the Bills. We're just going to ruin my Christmas because that's on a Christmas day. Get killed by the Lions and get killed by the Vikings. We're just going to end the season 3-14. Okay. That, this game actually ended closer than I thought. Like, we actually could have beaten them. Only if Valus Jones would not stop fumbling and we and our defense would hold up. If those two would have happened, we win the game. But does it matter? No. Why? Because we're not making the playoffs. Merry Christmas, man. Yeah. Um, I got a Bears present. What is it? A whole gift, man. Merry Christmas. Now, everybody, I have a toast to make. I'll have my real toast about the family after this one about the Bears. Chicago Bears, Merry Christmas to you guys. You guys have made my season, my entire 2022 life, 
I'm miserable. Like, you lose games when you're not supposed to. You beat teams that weren't supposed to lose to you. That weren't supposed to, yeah, lose to you. Justin Fields is running for his life. Give him some help. Heal Darna Mooney and Eddie Jackson's knee. Make sure that you guys don't lose any more close games like this. Now, I don't want you guys to get into blowouts, but I'm seriously tired of you guys losing those games. Can we be on the side for once and win games? It doesn't even have to be this year because you guys know that you're not going to win until the rest of the season. Can you just help us and just win us the game for once? Make our defense better. Make our offense catch the ball and receive the ball and score touchdowns. And stop making Justin for his life because he's going to get killed out there. Like he already did this entire season. That is my Christmas resolution for Chicago. Now, on to my real one. It's week 17, and I feel terrible. I made a whole Christmas resolution. They did not listen. And I specifically said, why can't we be on the good side in win games? I know I said I don't want to lose no more close games. But I also specifically said no blowouts. What is this? 41 to 10 to the Lions? Seriously? Are you serious? I, I, I can't even watch the game no more. I can't even watch the game. The game is still going. It's 41 to 10 right now. I can't watch this game. Thanks for the Christmas present. Just ruin my, oh my. Y'all just ruined my season, bro. The season is over, bro. <laughs> and we got the number one pick. Let's go, man. Houston, thank you so much. You know what, Houston? I'm going to have to give you a call. You know what? For Houston, I'm going to call them. Thank you for the one pick. No, you thought I was joking when I said I'm going to call Houston. No, I'm calling them. Come on, come on. You gotta answer this wrong, boy. Come on, come on. Hello? Chicago, if this is about the number one overall pick, I don't want you bragging. Because Lovey told us to win the game because he loved you guys so much to the point that he would do anything for you. And he literally did. So don't think that you guys got the number one pick because of us. I didn't want to win the game. I didn't want to win the game. I wanted to lose so we could get the quarterback we need. But no, Lovey was gonna have to send everyone in a big lockdown if we wouldn't win this game for them. So don't think you won the game because I didn't win the game for y'all. He did. And he got fired anyways because of this. So Chicago, be happy all you want. You're still not going to be good next year. And know where your team, your coach sucks, your team sucks, your fans absolutely suck. You passed on Mahomes. You passed on Watson. You got Mitchell Trubisky. And y'all ain't go nowhere. You think I'm a crazy Texan? I'm not. I'm just telling you. Chicago, you're not good. You guys suck. You should just hung up. And these dudes trying to insult me, bro? Houston! Oh my god, you, when you say our fans suck, you guys got no fans. You're, you gotta fire your coach, and you guys fire your coach one year in their existence. And you said, we're the worst team in franchise? You guys been around for 20 years. Haven't won a Super Bowl. Um, haven't gotten an MVP. You probably didn't. You never did. Unless J.J. Watt got one, but no. Um, you wasted DeAndre Hopkins' career in Houston. Um, you got four win seasons every year. Um, yeah. And you, you wish... Y'all had the franchise of the Chicago Bears. You guys wish you were famous like us. So, Houston, what I suggest y'all to do is go back to y'all stay in city and stay in Houston. And shut up. Can't be talking nothing about Chicago before you talk about yourself. And your coach actually loves us. Your coach sent y'all into lockdown. But never do that to us. So, screw y'all, Houston. And... Again, thanks for the one pick.